exclusive R R X Y. What is this? Zero crown exclusive R zero 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 exclusive R one 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 exclusive R zero one one exclusive R one zero. This is exclusive R. So the operation here is. If both are zeros or both are ones, result is zero. If one is zero, other one is one, then result is one. So, exclusive R means if both bits are if both bits are equal, result is. Zero. If bits are unequal, result is one. If both bits are equal, means either zeros or ones, result is zero. If both are unequal, this is zero one or one is zero. In this case, result is one. This is called exclusive or operation. Now let us see the last one that is not operation. Not. Not operation. Not of zero is equal to one. Not of one is equal to zero. So if you apply not operation, zero becomes one. One becomes zero. This is called complementing. So not operation is not is complement operation. So um, if we say not of say one one zero one one, what happens? Not of one one zero one one. So once become zero, zero become one. So zero zero one zero zero. This is the result. This is how the operations are done. Suppose int x is equal to say five. Five means binary is one zero one. It's equal to binary number. We can also write directly binary numbers also. Suppose int y is equal to 0 b 12 0 b some number suppose 0 1 1 0 one. 1 so once you say 0 b you can write by the number directly it is taken as binary number so x is equal to 5 this is equal to binary number this so this actually is 8 plus 10 this is equal to 11 decimal value but here to write the value directly in binary you can use this now how do you do various operations on this print f x double quotes x r r Oh. R of x and y is equal to x y if you r r of x and y is equal to say percentage d x r y so x y vertical bar is the r operation so x r y these two numbers are all result is displayed here as a decimal number so what do you get here this is 1101 and this is 101 you can put zero here r in 
As for our operation, this is 1, 0, 1, 1. This is what displayed. This is equal to 11 in decimal system. So, what you see the output is 11. This is how uh, a bitwise operation is done in C. Let us see the next operation. Print F and of x and y is equal to and of x and y. If you and these two percentage d x and y. So, x I are ended and result is displayed here. So, you can see here 1101 and means this is 1010. This is the result that is 5. So, here you get 5 on the display. Similarly, you can have exclusive R. Print F exclusive R of X and Y is equal to percentage D X crown Y. This is exclusive R. So, what will you get? 1101 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is 0, 0, 1, 0. This is the output number. This is equal to 4 in decimal. So, output will be 4. Now, we will see the NOT operation. NOT print F not of not operation is works on single number not on two numbers so not of suppose x is equal to percentage d not x this is how we write not of x so what do you get uh, this is x is 5101 so 101 not means 1 becomes 0, 0 becomes 1. So, 0, 1, 0. This is the output of not operation which is equal to 2. So, here output you can see 2. This is how bitwise operators work and the, how they are used in C language, C programming. Now there are two more operators, they are this, two greater than signs, two less than signs, these are two more bitwise operators, they are called shift operators, these are called bit shift, bit shift operators, this is left shift or right shift, direction is towards right. So, this is right shift operator, this is left shift operator, this is right shift operator, this is left shift operator. What is this shift? Let us take an example. Suppose I have this number 1011. Shifting means shift the bits by one position. Suppose right side. I want to shift these bits by one position right means this comes here, this goes here and this goes here, this goes out. So when this comes here, this becomes 1, this comes here it becomes 0, this comes here it becomes 1 and this is empty, you put 0 there. So if you shift all the bits right by one position, the resulting number is this. This is called bit shifting means the rightmost will go out. This is occupied by the next one. This is occupied by the next one like this. And the last leftmost one will put 0 there. Therefore, how it is represented? Suppose x is equal to 1011. 
will put 0 b 1 0 1 1 we will put we have put this number in x now x left shift 1 means x is uh, is right shifted x is right shifted by one position so this contains this one suppose we write 2 here x is right shifted by two positions means again one more shift so this is one more shifted again so one more shift this becomes 0 this becomes 1 ok let us come to this side this, be, this comes here this comes here this comes here and this is 0 so one more right shift will give this number so x will have this this is how the shifting is done so this is how you specify in c x right shift number of positions this is number of positions to be shifted Similarly, we can have left shift also. Suppose x left shift say one position suppose. X left shift one position. This is how you specify to shift x by one position. So, one position means what? Suppose x is equal to 1 0 1 1. Left shift is one position. So, we get 0 in the position. 1 here, 1 here, and this one here, and here 0 will be there. This like this. 1 1 position, if you see, 1 comes here, this comes here, 0 comes here, and here last one is 0. So, this is a left shift. So, these are called bit shift operators.